Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday, January 20th, 2015. I hope you all enjoyed your uh, long holiday weekend, as um, I know uh, I did. So, let's get things underway with our first four contestants. And the names that were called to come on down were... Marjorie, Brent, Ashley, and Drew Zink. Yes, Drew Carey was not the only Drew at the Price is Right on today's show. Speaking of Drew Carey, the model that gave Drew Carey the mic at the handoff today was the awesome Amber Lancaster. And our first item up for bids was ladies workout gear that was modeled by the mellow Melissa Ordway from The Young and the Restless. Oh, it was so nice to watch her today. And Amber. <laughs> All right, here are the bids. Marjorie, $900. Brent, $675. Ashley, $750. And Drew, $901. Drew Carey was going to give Drew Zink the uh, actual retail price in advance, but uh, since Drew already put his bid in, no can do. The actual retail price of the ladies' workout gear was $918. Drew Zink was off by $17, and he plays the first pricing game of the day. This Drew was wearing a shirt that said, Broke college student will play Plinko for cash. Well, I regret to inform you that Drew's pricing game was played behind door number two, and that's not where Plinko is, so that's not what... That's not the pricing game that's going to be for him. I will tell you the two prizes, though, Drew is playing for. I know I got a little ahead of myself, but yeah. Drew is playing for a Soul F80 folding treadmill and an Almost Heaven Saunas four-person indoor sauna that was modeled by Amber. Both prizes were. Drew's pricing game is double prices. Hey, Double prices with double Drew. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now, the high price was $9,503, and the low price was $7,499. Drew, the broke college student, believed $9,503 was the price of the treadmill and the indoor sauna. Personally, I did not feel good about that. So when Amber took away the low price of $7,499 and Drew Carey pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price, it turned out that it was... Hoping that someone named Drew would get this right. $7,499. Ah. Oh. Wish he had went with that price. But Drew still has the ladies' workout gear. Wonder if he would give it to someone named Mimi. <laughs> Mimi Bobek. Okay, our next contestant called to come on down was... Judy! Our next item up for bids was a 13-inch Apple MacBook Pro laptop computer with stand included, modeled by Melissa. The bids were Judy, $699, Marjorie, $1,100, Brent, $650, and Ashley, one thousand one hundred one dollar. 
And the actual retail price of the laptop computer with stand included was $1,359. Ashley is the next contestant to play a pricing game. And uh, Ashley gave like fake tears, feeling bad of about going $1 over Marjorie. Well, you know, Ashley shouldn't be crying because George informed her that she needs to wipe her tears on the upholstery of her new car! Ashley is playing for a 2015 Ford Fiesta 5-door hatchback S. It comes equipped with a 1.6 liter engine plus 6-speed automatic transmission and paint and fabric protection modeled by Amber. Ashley's pricing game is cover-up. Now, here is what the displayed wrong price for the car was in this play. We had honk, honk, beep, and the steering wheel in the middle, toot, and ooga. <laughs> yes, this was the gimmick this time around was uh, different sounds of car horn. <laughs> Pretty clever, I must say. Alright, let's do this. For the first number, choosing either one or three, Ashley went with one. Covering up honk. Next, choosing between six, two, or three for the second number, Ashley went with six. Covering up the beep. Next, for 3, 5, 7, and 9 as the third number, she covered up that steering wheel with the 3. Next, for 9, 4, 1, 2, or 5, which was the fourth number, Ashley chose the 4 to cover up 2. And finally, with 7, 8, 0, 3, 9, and 4 to choose from for the last number, Ashley covered up Ooga with 8. So, she made the price of the car $16,348. Was that the price of the Ford Fiesta 5-door hatchback S? No, it was not. But if Ashley had at least one number right, she gets to keep on playing. Did Ashley have at least one number right? I bet she did. She had one. She had two, and she had three numbers right. They were the one, the six, and the eight. Now, for Ashley's second chance, she covered up the three with the five and not the seven or the nine for the third number, and she covered up the four with the two instead of the nine, the four, the one, or the five for the fourth number, making the new price $16,528. Was that the price of the Ford Fiesta five-door hatchback S? No, it was not. Now, the five or the two had to be correct for Ashley to get one more turn. Did, the, did she have the five or the two correct? No, she didn't. And that was the end of the game. The actual retail price was $16,758. Well, five was in the, in the price, but should have been in the fourth spot, not third. And we found out that Ashley is a teacher, and I know that laptop computer will come in handy for her class. All right, the, after the first commercial break was over, our next contestant was called to come on down. That person was... Amy! Our next item up for 
bids was a butterfly playback roll away table tennis package with accessories included. And as George Green noted, beautiful models not. Those beautiful models, of course, were man, um, excuse me, not Manuela, Melissa and Amber. Hey, Manuela's a beautiful model too, but she wasn't on today's show, unfortunately. All right, here are the bids. Amy, $700. Judy, $501. Marjorie, $850. And Brent, $499. And the actual retail price of the table tennis package with accessories included and not Melissa and Amber, the beautiful models, were $780. Amy, who was off by $80, is the next contestant to play a pricing game. And for Amy, it was revealed that she is going to be playing Safe Crackers. And she had a chance to win what was inside the safe. It was a trip for two to Seville, Spain. That is round trip coach from Los Angeles for a six-night stay in a double room at a four-star hotel with one guided city tour included and also in the safe a pair of Sony 18.2 megapixel cameras with one having Wi-Fi capability and the other being waterproof with a five-times optical zoom. The trip to Spain and the cameras were both modeled by Melissa. A Safe Crackers prize package worth $9,056. Amber was in charge of opening and closing the safe. Now it was up to Amy to crack the combination of the safe, which is also the price of the digital cameras. The numbers in the price and the combination are 0, 8, and 6. Amy set the first dial to an 8. She then set the second dial to a 6 and therefore left the 0 by default as the last number to be dialed into, making the price of the cameras $860. So, when Amy turned the wheel for the safe and then tried to open it, it turned out that the safe was locked. The actual retail price was, I pretty much knew it, $680. Ah, oh, too bad. But Amy still has the table tennis package. All right, now it's time for the first showcase showdown. First contestant to spin the wheel was Amy. In Amy's first spin, she landed on 85 cents. And Amy stayed on that. All right, the next contestant to spin the wheel was Drew Zink. In Drew's first spin, he landed on 45 cents. He had to spin again. He needed at least 40 cents, but no more than 55 cents. And to add to the 45 cents in his first spin, Drew Zink got in his second spin 15 cents for a total of 60 cents, and that was not enough to... Topple Amy. Ashley was the last contestant to spin the wheel, and in her first spin, she landed on 65 cents. 
So she had to spin again. She needed at least 20 cents, but no more than 35 cents. And to add to the 65 cents in her first spin, Ashley got in her second spin. 75 cents for a total of $1.40. Ashley went over, but I'm sure that she still would show her students her appearance on The Price is Right um, when it aired today. But for Amy, she's on her way to the showcase. And we'll see if she'll do more winning. Well, she didn't win the trip to Spain, but we'll see if she can win her showcase later on as this recap goes on. contestant called to come on down was Bernard and he was dressed in his uniform as he represents the United States Armed Forces. Alright, our next item up for bids was a pair of Schwood handcrafted wooden eyewear sunglasses that were brought down from the jewelry elevator. Here were the bids. Bernard, $350. Judy, $600. Marjorie, $650. And Brent, $351. And the actual retail price of the Schwood handcrafted wooden eyewear sunglasses were $545. Brent is the fourth contestant to play a pricing game. Brent was wearing a t-shirt that said, There's no place like home unless you're on the Price is Right. Had a picture of Dorothy's uh, ruby slippers. Well, George told Brent to close his eyes and and tap his heels because for him he's going to play Plinko for a chance to win up to fifty thousand dollars in cash. Oh, oh, baby. Well, as we all know, Brent gets one free Plinko chip, and he has a chance to win up to four more chips. If he can know the prices of the four small prizes that were over by Amber. The first one was a shark hand vacuum with deep cleaning motorized brush included. The price was not $37. Brent believed 3 was the first number and not 7 being the second number. Amber revealed the price to be $57. Should have chose the 7. Next we had a Holstein countertop muffin maker. The price was not $75. Brent believed 5 was the second number and not 7 being the first number. Amber revealed the price to be $45, and Brent gets a Plinko chip. Next, we had an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. The wrong price was $98. Brent believed 8 was the second number and not 9 being the first number. Amber revealed the price to be $78. Brent gets another Plinko chip. And finally, we had a Conair Mini Pro 1200 watt ceramic hair dryer. The price was not $26. Brent believed 6 was the second number and not 2 being the first number. And Amber revealed the price to be $22. Should have chose the 2. So Brent has a total of 3 Plinko chips. 
Amber brought the two urn chips over to Brent. And when he climbed up the stairs to drop his first of three Plinko chips, the first one he placed between the L and the I, and the amount that it landed in was... Zero. Well, let's look at it this way. He was just warming up. So maybe he'll get something on the next chip. For his second chip, he dropped that on the K. And the amount he got for that Plinko chip was... $100. Well, it's better than a zero. For Brent's third and final Plinko chip, he placed that between the N and the K, and the amount that he got for that chip landed in... Zero! Can you believe that? Brent wins $100, and that's it? Ah, oh, how depressing. Well, let's look at it this way. At least all three of the chips didn't land in zero. You should be lucky that second chip got him some dough. Oh, I wish it was more, but that's that's how the cookie crumbles. Uh, so, including the muffin maker and the jewelry cleaner, that totaled $123. Brent, Brent won himself $223 in cash and small prizes for a consolation win. And including the one bid prize, Brent currently won $768 in cash and prizes. All right. Um... Not doing too good on the pricing games here. Let's hope things improve. But first, our next contestant that was called to come on down was... Gregory! Our next item up for bids was a pair of Super Jeweler 14 karat white gold stud earrings that were presented by Melissa in the middle of contestants row. The bids were Gregory $450 Bernard $1,200 Judy $1,201 and Marjorie $1,202 I knew that was coming. The actual retail price of the 14 karat white gold stud earrings were an even $2,000. Marjorie is the next contestant to play a pricing game. Marjorie was wearing a shirt that said, excuse me, show me the money that represented the, the dollar sign for the Price is Right logo if the price is right. Now, for Marjorie, George told her to look at her friends on her right, in the audience, and then turn to her left, because out came on stage for Marjorie was a new truck! And it's a 2015 Nissan Frontier King Cab 4x2 S truck. It is equipped with a 2.5 liter engine, 5-speed automatic transmission, under rail bed liner, floor mat plus paint and fabric protection, and low jack that had Amber in the driver's seat. And for Marjorie, she is playing Lucky 7. So Drew gives Marjorie the seven $1 bills to play the game. And the first number in the price of the truck was... 2. Now, for the second number, Marjorie believed that was two. 
The actual second number in the price of the truck was... A two exactly! And Marjorie keeps her seven dollars. Now on to the third number. Marjorie believed that it was five. She went right down the middle. The actual third number in the price of the truck was... An eight. Cost Marjorie three dollars. So Marjorie was left with four dollars. For the fourth number... Marjorie went with five again. I don't think that was smart, but maybe it might work out for her. Let's see. The actual fourth number in the price of the truck was... Oh, my goodness. A nine, and it cost her four dollars. Marjorie was broke. And the fifth and last number of the price of the truck was revealed to be a seven. The actual retail price was $22,397. But Marjorie still has those earrings that I think would look nice. All right. Time for our last contestant to be called to come on down. That person was... Sharon! And our final item up for bids today was a Wustoff 23-piece cutlery set that was brought out by Melissa and Amber. Here were the bids. Sharon? One dollar! Sharon wasted no time putting in the most popular bid on The Price is Right. But, uh, let's be honest. Bidding $1 first is not the best strategy to use. Gregory bid $450. That's what he bid in the last uh, one bid. Interesting. Bernard, $1,000. And Judy, $700. And the actual retail price of the cutlery set from Wustoff was $1,055. Bernard is the final contestant to play a pricing game, and hopefully he'll become a winner playing it. We have learned that Bernard uh, serves in the United States Navy as a service system mechanic. Used uh, the correct hand to salute this time as, you know, I had my report in the other hand when I did the salute earlier. I can still do a nice salute with my other hand. Alright, now for Bernard, he was going to be playing for, well, George put it as a, a pun, Weekend at Bernie's. We, weekend at Bernie's with these prizes. First off, we had a three-piece set of KitchenAid mixing bowls with spouts. Next, we had T-Fall countertop kitchen appliances. The mixing bowls and the appliances were modeled by Amber. And finally, a suite of kitchen appliances. Pretty much uh, typical that was going to appear as the next prize. It includes a five burner gas range with a double oven, a French door bottom freezer refrigerator with electronic control, and an ultra quiet built in dishwasher with six different cycles that was modeled by Melissa. And Bernard's pricing game is Neil Rock's 87's favorite pricing game. Make your move! Now, the numbers that appeared from beginning to end were. Three five six five four seven eight one zero. Bernard placed the uh, red marker for the two numbers in the price of the mixing bowls to 
fifty-four dollars. For the yellow marker that he placed for the three numbers and the price of the appliances, the countertop appliances to be more precise, he put them to three hundred fifty-six dollars. And for the suite of kitchen appliances, he placed the green marker under the four numbers of its price to seven thousand eight hundred ten dollars. Now let's just review the prices here. Bernard believed the mixing bowls were $54. He believed that the T-Fall countertop appliances were $356. And he believed the suite of the kitchen appliances were $7,810. Now I should note that uh, we haven't gotten a winner today. So this would be all in Bernard to pull out a miracle and saving the show from a skunk. But I have to be honest with you. I didn't like the price he put for the countertop appliances, $356. But, but, let's think positive here. Maybe Bernard something, knows something we don't know. All right. $54, once again, for the mixing bowls. $356 for the T-Fall countertop appliances, and $7,810 for the suite of kitchen appliances. We are hoping that Bernard ended up being a winner in this playing of New Rock City 7's favorite pricing game. Oh, bad news, Barrett. Please don't tell me what I... What you're trying to tell us with that bad news. Did Bernard win? No, he didn't. The actual retail prices were, for the mixing bowls, $35. The T-Fall countertop appliances were $810. And the suite of kitchen appliances were $6,547. Oh, what are you going to do? But Bernard still has the 23-piece cutlery set. All right, now it's time for the second showcase showdown. First contestant to spin the wheel was Brent. In his first spin, he landed on... 60 cents. Brent chose to spin again, taking a bit of a risk, I must say. And to add to the 60 cents in his first spin, Brent got in his second spin 35 cents for a total of 95 cents. So, Brent has set the tone for Bernard and Marjorie. See if either one of them can tie with the 95 cents or get a dollar. Bernard spun next, and in his first spin, he landed on 85 cents. So he needed a dime or 15 cents. And in Bernard's second spin, to add to the 85 cents in his first spin, he got 35 cents. For a total of a dollar twenty, and Bernard is over. Marjorie was the last contestant to spin, and in her first spin, she landed on a quarter, twenty-five cents. She needed seventy or seventy-five cents in her second spin, and to add to the twenty-five cents in her first spin, Marjorie got in her second spin. A dime! Ten cents. And that was a total of 35 cents, which was not enough to defeat Brent, who despite only winning $100 in Plinko, is on his way to the showcase! Good things happen for a reason on The Price is Right. It always does. Whether contestants win or lose their prices. Today in the 
this showcase, our top winner was Amy, and the runner-up was Brent. Showcase number one. These were prizes that were um, given the title Sweet Dreams. And they are made up of these. A Michael Amini After Eight Collection Bedroom Group, a, along with a Comfort Air Queen Size Mattress. A trip for two to St. Lucia, that's Round Trip Coach from L.A., for a six-night stay in a one-bedroom pool view suite at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort. Daily breakfast, one couple's massage, and two complimentary water sports included. The bedroom group with the mattress and the trip to St. Lucia were modeled by Amber. And a 2015 Hyundai Elantra SE. It comes equipped with a 1.8 liter engine, automatic transmission, and front wheel drive modeled by Melissa. Amy chose to bid on this showcase, and she bid $24,100. Now for showcase number two, this, these prizes for Brent involved good things that come in small and big packages. First, we had a Samsung 16 gig Galaxy Note tablet that Melissa was holding in her hands as she modeled it. That's for the small. For the big, we have a 65-inch Samsung LED 1080p Smart HDTV with two pairs of 3D glasses included, also modeled by Melissa. Next, for the small, we had a sport lightweight six-speed folding compact bicycle. And for the big, a Harley-Davidson Sportster super low motorcycle with helmet included. The folding bicycle and the motorcycle were modeled by Amber. And finally, a trip for two to Tokyo, Japan. That is round trip coach from Los Angeles for a six night stay in a modern room. I think that is a small room. At a luxury boutique hotel that's big. Daily breakfast included, plus a guided three hour food tour. Modeled by Melissa as the trip to Tokyo appeared at door number four. Brent bid. $24,000 even. So he bid $100 less than what Amy bid on her showcase. Okay, for the showcase reveal, Drew went to Brent first. Brent bid $24,000. Actual retail price! You gotta be kidding me. Twenty three thousand two ninety six. Brent was over by seven hundred four dollars. Oh man, not good, not good. Now, if Amy does not go over in her showcase, no matter how far she's off, she's gonna win it. And uh, based on the kind of day this show has been having, a showcase winner would definitely be nice. Hey, even a sh double showcase winner would be pretty good. be awesome. Okay, Amy's bid was $24,100. Actual retail price! For the love of God, this can't be. I don't believe this! $39,581! For a difference of $15,481! I really felt we were going to have a double overbid here, but thankfully Amy pulls that out and becomes the showcase winner! Amy won herself a grand total of $40,361 in prizes. Congratulations, Amy. So we had a very rough show today. We only gave away $100 in Plinko, along with a muffin maker and a jewelry cleaner. So for Brent... 
he is the contestant recognition contestant. And for Amy, she is the showcase MVP. Now, Benjamin James Mason from BJMTV Canada has the following acknowledgments. This show was the first since April 30th, 2012, in which both contestants who played a car game spun the wheel last, but they still lost their games. In fact, that was the first show that prizes for those who didn't get on stage were no longer revealed. Well, Irish Dragon uh, acknowledges that today was our fourth skunking of season 43 and 75th with Drew Carey. And for uh, Martin S5-1989, he wanted me to acknowledge that for the second week in a row, WBZ-TV ended up preempting part of the show for a breaking news story about a woman being shot at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. This story broke in just as they were ready to resume the show with the fourth item up for bids. Well, if Martin S5-1989 was watching the rest of the show on CBS.com, which I'm sure he probably did, and watching this recap as well, he's watching, uh, he found out that the results from today's show were definitely not the best. But, we can always do better tomorrow. Funding for the Price is Right Pricing and Recap this week is provided by Ancient Secrets Ear Rinse Ear Cleansing Spray. That's going to wrap things up for me for tonight. Until next time, I am Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Good night.